Stan Jibalisco here. I'm going to show you a very crude way to find out whether the alternator in a vehicle is working. This is a, an old Chrysler PT Cruiser that has a power outlet. Uh, that is, I guess it's wired to handle a little more current. Uh, and I have a voltmeter connected right into this Radio Shack adapter that seems to be tailor-made for purposes like this. The ignition is off, so I'm measuring the battery voltage. Yes, this thing actually functions even when the ignition is off. Don't know how smart that is, uh, but it uh, because there's no alternator to replenish the battery. But there's the battery voltage. A uh, typical automotive battery uh, provides 12.6 volts, so Looks like we're right on target. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this vehicle up. If the voltage ch changes and increases to around 13.8 to 14.5 or so, it means that something's connected to it and trying to charge it. And there's nothing other than the car than the alternator that can do that. But if the voltage doesn't uh, change means there's a problem. 13.96 13.97 Well, it looks like we're in luck. Uh, the uh, vehicle is now running and the voltage has increased according to what it should. Uh, once again, a DC voltmeter. This is a Radio Shack TRMS digital multimeter. It needs to be a precise meter in order for this scheme to work. But uh, this is a very quick uh, way to do this without getting your hands too dirty. Depends, of course, how long that adapter and the voltmeter have been sitting around. But there you have it. You can see the black uh, lead from the voltmeter goes to the black knobby on the adapter and red to red. So we'll make sure to get the polarity right. we got to make sure the meter is set to read DC volts, not AC volts. Shut the engine off. And the voltage gradually drops as the alternator's influence wanes. So that is a way to do this without having to go to a service technician, but it's not a 100% sure fire method. I'm not going to guarantee this by any stretch. And once again, you need an accurate digital voltmeter for this to function properly. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.